Hi out there in the YouTube world, it's me, the Puzzle Master, and this video I'm going to be talking about megaliths, because like, I'm really, really into megaliths, okay, and what megaliths basically means is mega meaning like huge, and lith means stone, okay, so giant stone, and like there's megaliths all over the planet, and like, I just saw this, like, uh, I've watched a couple documentaries on this, and, like, there's pyramids in China, like, all over China, all over, okay? And there's even, like, uh, underground city in Turkey, uh, Darren Kuyu, um, and then even on, like, Easter Island and stuff, we have these, like, giant statues, okay? And most people also don't know this, but the statues aren't just Easter Island heads, they're actually whole bodies, and, like, most of them are just buried, so that you can't, uh, see that, but recent archaeological excavations have uncovered that, and there's photographic, uh, proof of this, if you just do some Google research, um, also look up the, uh, the pyramid in France, which is, like, I was quite surprised by that, but, uh, yeah, it's just, like, so interesting to me how ancient cultures from all around the world, like, I, I do think that there was before, like, this great flood that, like, covered the planet. I think that, uh, cultures were global, globally unified, I should say. And I think that there's kind of been, like, a suppression of archaeological evidence because there's even, like, little people, like, pygmies, pygmy people if you look that up, and that are actually still around, that are like half our size. And then if you look up giants, there's also evidence of like giant people. And there's a full range of spectrum of like the human incarnate form. And our technological abilities, as well as like our spiritual know-how, which you never know, might go hand in hand with some of our abilities. like. Because a lot of these, like, people on Easter Island and stuff, um, talk about, like, uh, Veracocha, um, guy with a white beard and long hair, and when he left the island, they couldn't move the stone anymore, because he only could do that. Now, if it was some kind of technology, like using heavy cranes and machinery, they should have been able to do it. And even in, like, places like, uh, Saxuayman, you can see that the stone is, like, it was almost like it was melted together, because it's just so well in place, and it doesn't look like there's chip marks and chisel marks. It looks like smooth and soft, and like it was almost heated like wax to somewhat of a malleable form, and then kind of put in place. And like some places around like Saxuayman, the stone is quarried like 70 kilometers away. Uh, and, like, these are, like, megaton stones. So, I don't know how they were doing it. Like, uh, if they were just somehow, like, using advanced technologies or using what would be perceived as, like, advanced technologies, but just using, like, sound harmonics and, like, some kind of, like, spiritual form of, like, mind power that really just would be advanced telekinetic and vibratory harmonic sciences that we do uh, have today. Like, if you look up uh, sound levitation, you can levitate objects with sound, and properties, like, of matter can be changed. Uh, if you look up the Schumann resonance and all of that, uh, using frequencies, they're able to, like, change matter. And, uh, yeah, um... Maybe some of those ancient people had these capabilities. Well, not maybe. I'm, like, really sure that they did. Because if you just look around the world, there's, like, so many of these megaliths. And, you know, in China, it was, like, suppressed. Like, they, like, they, like, buried them under soil and planted trees over top of them. And for a long time, that worked. Because people, it, uh, it really has to do with what, like, is available to your eyes and your senses. And since on ground level it looks like trees and forests, it, it pretty much worked as a cover-up. 
but uh, with satellite imagery and like planes and all of that, giving an aerial perspective. Uh, yeah, the truth is out. There's pyramids, and I'm really sure that there actually would be megaliths in Canada if it weren't for the ice ages, which have like destroyed and scraped the areas. So even if there had been megaliths in Canada from like pre ancient times, from like ancient people, it would have been destroyed. So, like, there could still be remnants. Like, that doesn't mean don't look. Because, like, you know, curiosity and creativity is, like, the divine inspiration of, like, you. And, uh, yeah. Please subscribe if this is your first video. And, uh, yeah, I'll be making more. And, mwah, I'll, uh, let me know your favorite megalith, because there's so many of them around the world. And, yeah, if you could let me know a megalith that I haven't heard of, that'd be freaking awesome. Because it's hard to research these things, and I've looked up megaliths on Google and ancient sites. So, unless it's one that I haven't really heard of, it's not going to be that amazing. But if it's a new one, thank you. And uh, even if it's not a new one, just... Uh, What's your favorite one, you know? But, laters. Whoa.